नमस्कार आई एम अखिल श्रीवास्तव एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द वीकली वेदर ब्रीफिंग ऑफ इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट इन दिस वीकली वेदर ब्रीफिंग वी विल सी हाउ वॉज द वेदर डूइंग पास सेवन डेज वन वीक एंड वॉट वी एक्सपेक्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ वेदर इन द कमिंग नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स एज वी नो दैट वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग द सेवेंटी एथ इंडिपेंडेंस डे टूडे सो आई एक्सटेंड माई हार्ट फेल्ट congratulations and best wishes to all my fellow indians and uh, all the people a uh, very happy for a very happy independence day if we talk about the main synoptic systems during the past one week we can see that the uh, the western end of the monsoon trough during the week it was mostly in the active condition and there was also a cyclonic circulation over northeastern rajasthan region during the most days of the week if you talk about a cyclonic circulation over jharkhand it was seen over jharkhand on 8th and it then moved over southeast uttar pradesh and neighborhood on 9th and 10th there was also a trough which ran from northeast arabian sea to northwest uh, to a cyclonic circulation over northwest madhya pradesh uh, on 12th there was also cyclonic circulation over assam and uh, neighborhood regions during the week there was also a trough which ran from different regions of south and south india to the kumarin area during the week also there was a cyclonic circulation over south bangladesh on 12th and it was seen over south bangladesh and advancing dwb on 3 uh, on 14th if we talk about the main uh, weather activity that is in terms of rainfall during past one week then the map over here on the right hand side is showing the rainfall during past uh, you know seven days in different parts of the country as per the imd observations so if we see the different colors they are showing the different categories of the rainfall the orange red and uh, the warm colors they are showing the higher amount of rainfall if we talk about the most significant rainfall activity during uh, the last week then we can see that exceptionally heavy rainfall that is of 38 cm was observed on 11th of august in the station called karoli in east rajasthan apart from that if you talk about extremely heavy rainfall activity then it was seen over east rajasthan on on 11th and 12th over southern west bengal and sikkim on 9th over meghalaya and north tamil nadu on 11th over arunachal pradesh on 11th and 12th and on over lakshadweep on 14th of august if we talk about the rainfall activity during past 24 hours that is uh, the 24 hours ending at 8:30 hours ist of 15th of august 2024 then we can see that in this map you can see the different metropolitan subdivisions are shown with different colors the colors which are shown with the orange Uh, 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 colors. They are the areas where very heavy rainfall has been reported. If you can see on with respect to the values, then Uttarakhand 17 centimeter rainfall is reported in past 24 hours. In Himachal Pradesh 16 centimeter, East Rajasthan 15 centimeter, West Uttar Pradesh 15 centimeter. Also in Jammu Division and West Madhya Pradesh 14 centimeter and 12 centimeter rainfall respectively was reported in in 24 hours ending at morning 8:30 hours IST of 15th of August. if you talk about the week as a whole how was the week uh, in terms of the rainfall categorization then you can see on my right hand side it is showing the different metropolitan subdivision whereby these are uh, termed in terms of how the rainfall activity was when we are comparing it with the normal rainfall activity over the over this particular week so you can see the areas in the northwest parts of uh, the plains of northwest india they are shown in green and blue colors which are largely signifying the normal to above normal rainfall activity whereas this red and yellow colors they are signifying deficient rainfall activity if we see overall for the all india feature then actual rainfall reported was 52.8 mm against the normal rainfall which is expected during this week of 61.1 mm that was uh, about 14% uh, negative uh, deficiency if it see in terms of uh, the values then for the entire country as a whole i have already informed it's the minus 14% depa- uh, departure if you talk about region wise then we can see that east and northeast india it was in minus 9% central india was minus 38% south western india was minus 7% that means except northwest india which was plus 17% other metropolitan subdivisions of the country reported less than normal rainfall activity if we talk about the season the season for us for the softer southern monsoon it starts from 1st of june so if you talk about the period from 1st of june to 14th uh, of august then you can see that most of the uh, metro subdivisions are showing normal to above normal for activity except the some parts of northeastern parts of the country eastern parts of the country and western himalayan region if you talk about cumulatively for the entire country then uh, the rainfall activity till 14th of august was plus 5% normal what is expected during this period that is india received 598.5 mm of rainfall against normally expected 570.7 mm of rainfall activity and if you talk about in terms of different regions then east and northeast india was at minus 11% and northwest india was at minus 3% apart from that central india and south western india they were in, in positive side with plus 13 and plus 22% rainfall activity 
if you talk about the uh, main weather what is happening today uh, you know in terms of the monsoon trough then you can say the this is the current position of the monsoon trough which is shown uh, over in the map the monsoon trough today ran from ganganagar rohtak delhi kanpur churk purulia the and then uh, southeast for to east center of bay of bengal so this is the uh, current position of the monsoon trough and if we talk about the other synoptic systems which are impacting india today then we can see over here that it is a cyclone circulation which lies over you know southern parts of bangladesh okay and adjoining uh, uh, gwb and we are expecting that this cyclone circulation will lead to a formation of a low pressure area over gwb and neighborhood regions there is also cyclone circulation over northeastern parts of the rajasthan and neighborhood and there is cyclone circulation over southeast arabian sea and a trough region from uh, konkan to this particular cyclone circulation over southeast arabian sea if we talk about the <coughs> cyclogenesis that is what is the probability of formation of a depression over a, uh, over the uh, indian region and in the north indian ocean region so if we talk in terms of the probability then as you can see in this particular map which is showing the week 1 and week 2 probabilities so over arabian sea and over bay of bengal there is no probability of formation of a depression or a above intensity system that is there is no probability of a cyclogenesis however as we already informed there is a cyclone circulation which has formed over uh, southern parts of bangladesh and neighborhood and we are expecting uh, it to uh, uh, develop into a low pressure area over gwb and neighborhood that is gangetic west bengal neighborhood and there is also a moderate probability that this particular system may further uh, intensify into a depression and move westward during next 2 to 3 su subsequent days if you talk about the forecast that is for week 1 and week 2 so this map is taken from uh, the extended rain forecast system of imd so on the right hand side it is showing the week 1 forecast that is the actual rainfall which is expected during the week and the another map over here it is showing the anomaly that is what is normally expected and whether the rainfall is more than that expected or less than that expected so the colors which you are seeing over here that is blue colors and uh, the blue shade they are showing the above normal rainfall activity whereas the warm colors that is red and yellow colors they are showing the below normal rainfall activity and the white colors are showing the near normal rainfall activity so if we see that entire country is shown to receive the amount of rainfall activity and if we uh, see in terms of you know anomaly that is whether it is below normal or above normal then we can see the northwest parts of the country central india and adjoining eastern india they all are expected to receive above normal rainfall activity also in southern parts of india also they, they are expected to receive above normal rainfall activity however the northeastern parts of the country you can see over here with red and yellow colors they are expected to receive below normal rainfall activity so in nutshell if we want to understand so we can say that overall the rainfall activity is likely to be above normal over most parts of the plains of northwest india central india and adjoining east india and it's likely to be near normal over western himalayan region and over south peninsular india and it's likely to be below normal over northeastern states of the country during the week 1 that is from 15th of august to 21st of august if we talk about the region wise what is the forecast and warning so you can see the this for the northwest india we are expecting that the isolated very heavy rainfall is likely over jammu kashmir ladakh gilgit baltistan muzaffarabad himachal pradesh and west rajasthan on 15th and east rajasthan on 15th and 16th of august if you talk about west and central uh, india if you talk about very heavy rainfall activity that is likely over chatisgarh on 15th and 16th of august If we talk about east and northeast India, then we can see that actually the very heavy rainfall is likely over Gangetic West Bengal on 16th and 17th, and Jharkhand on 17th and 18th of August. Also for South Central India, isolated very heavy rainfall is likely over Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, Karaikal on 16th and 17th, Kerala and Mahe during 15th to 17th, on Lakshadweep on 15th, Raya Sima 16th, Coastal Karnataka on 15th, and South Indian Karnataka on 15th and 16th of August. If we talk about the warning in terms of the map, you can see the same warning which we have just discussed. The areas which were uh, very heavy rainfall activity you uh, uh, mentioned, you can see they are been mentioned with the you know orange color and with this dark black clouds. And for the regions where uh, uh, the uh, yellow warning is issued, they are the areas where in general uh, heavy rainfall warning has been issued for the next three days. So if we can see over here, then we can see Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, and in south, South India Karnataka, uh, Kerala. they are expected to receive very heavy rainfall activity on 15th and for our 16th then we can see eastern parts of rajasthan chhattisgarh and southern parts of india are also expected to receive very heavy rainfall activity and on 17th there is the uh, the eastern parts of the country that is gwb and jharkhand they are expected to receive very heavy rainfall 
uh, activity. If you talk about uh, the rest of the four days for the week, that's from 18 to 21, we are expecting heavy rainfall activity over different metrological subdivision, which are mentioned in this particular map. If you talk about week two, they, so this is taken from the same ERF model for the week two forecast. Then on the right hand side is showing the rainfall activity during uh, expected during 22nd August to 29th August. And on the uh, left hand side you can see it is showing the anomaly. So again we can see that uh, the uh, rainfall activity is likely to be above normal over northwestern parts of the country and adjoining central India. And however they are likely to be below normal over uh, northeastern parts of the country. If we talk about uh, in, de uh, in more detail, then monsoon trough is likely to be active during the second week. It's likely to be near or south of its normal position during the second week. Offshore trough is also likely along the west coast, uh, which is like during the most days of the week. So uh, because of the above features, what we are expecting is that fairly widespread to widespread rainfall with heavy to very heavy falls are likely over most parts of northwest and central India, especially over Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and along the west coast states which includes Kerala, coastal Karnataka, Konkan and Goa, Ghat areas of Karnataka and Maharashtra and Gujarat. Also heavy falls are likely over eastern and southern parts of northeast India and also parts of south of India during most days of the week 2 that is from 22nd of August to 28th of August. If you talk about the overall situation then overall rainfall is likely to be above normal over plains of northwest India and over central India and near normal over Western Himalayan region, normal to above normal over Eastern and Northeast India and South Pans India during the second week, that is from 22nd to 28th of August. So for any updated information, please access uh, social media handles of IMD and for any updated information, you can access the websites of IMD. We will meet again next week with similar kind of information. Till then, have a good time. Namaskar. Jai Hind.